Hi guys, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and Dean and I are excited to be back, honey. It's been two weeks. Things have just been insane. So, um, last week I wasn't feeling well. The week before I was gone for Thanksgiving or vice versa. I can't even remember anymore. But I hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving and spent some wonderful time with your family and your friends and your kids and, you know, hung out. Put your tree up, girl. And some of you late bloomers out there have not put your tree up, I'm sure. So, that's why we're going to continue the tree series today. So if you go back two weeks ago, guys, we did the first part of the tree series, which was the topper. And you always want to put your topper on first if you're going to use a large topper. But there's different ways and different techniques that people use and follow when decorating, and not everybody wants a big top. So on today's tree demo, I'm going to show you how to do the tree, but I'm also going to show you how to incorporate a top that basically matches the tree. Because one, not everybody has room for a large top. Two, not everybody likes it. And three, you can do it a different way. And if you were, let me mention this too, some people love angels, some people like stars, something nostalgic, traditional, that is totally fine. And if that's the case, just put that on first and then work your way down from there with your decor, your ribbon, balls, and floral, okay? So as you join us this morning, you'll leave a comment down below. Let me know where you're watching from and any questions you have throughout the video today, drop those down below as well. And excuse the outfit, okay? I wasn't really planning on wearing hot pink shorts in the winter, but that's all that was clean. So I did just take what I, take what I could get. But we have got a seven, honey, a seven foot Fraser fir tree. She is fluffed. She is ready to go. This is a slimline tree, but everything I show you guys today, you can replicate on a larger scale in a larger tree. Um, but don't forget, you always want to make sure you scale and size your materials and your products to the base, which in this case is a seven foot slim tree. This is also unlit. Again, we're doing this for demo purposes, so there will be tags, honey, so don't freak. And um, I'm going to have to go put it back out there when we get done. But if you have an unlit tree at home, girl, please put your lights on first. Um, so that way you can use some of your material and product to hide all those cords because ain't nothing worse than cords hanging out, girl. So put that on first and then begin your decorating, okay? So let's just let's just get caught up, okay? Let's talk to Dana real quick because I hadn't seen her in two weeks either. So how's your two weeks been? It's been... She's been working. She had to work on Black Friday at Walmart. Uh, you watch any good TV shows we need to catch up on? We did. There was a finale of Dance with the Stars. I'm caught up on everything. Okay. Like Yellowstone. So I'm not caught up on Yellowstone. Dana. Okay. Leave a comment and let us know what your thoughts of the Dance with the Stars finale was. I wanted JoJo to win. Who'd you want to win? Out of everybody that was there, either Cody or Iman. Oh, really? Okay. It was Cody again. Let me think. Oh, yeah. Cody. I'm really shocked that he made it to the finale. But yeah, I was too. But it, when he ended up being the one in the final four. My favorite dances, though, were those contemporary ones where they just did their own thing. They were so good. And uh, I love Cody because he got out there and strutted his stuff, and I love stuff like that. So it was good. Um, but anyway, y'all. Okay, we're going to catch up as we go. Y'all say hello as you come in. I've got the tree ready. Let's take our first poll of the day. Does it look like I've gained weight? No, just kidding. That's not the poll. Okay, just kidding. I want to know if you have your tree up, yes or no. So y'all leave a comment, yes or no, if you have your tree up. Okay, fluffed our tree. Again, this is unlit for demo purposes, but make sure it's lit. And then if someone answers a question about my weight, I'll choke you. Okay, now we're going to decorate it, okay? Because this is going to be a rustic theme, I love rustic. The great thing about rustic is you can dress it up, dress it down. So if you have all your natural berries and your greeneries and you mix all that stuff in, but you want to spruce it up some, you can always use glitter, and that's going to get you that elegant um, component, and it'll give you a great balance, okay? But because we're doing rustic, I've got these stems, and I better stop and just tell you right now for Rebecca calls me out and screams. Guys, today we are uh, we are celebrating Cyber Monday on a Tuesday. So every single thing on the website is 20% off. Okay. All you got to do, remember this, okay. You got to use the online code at checkout. And it's all caps. Online 20. Okay. Online 20 is the code. LSOMTheGarden.com. The entire site is 20% off for you guys. We do our videos on Tuesdays. But we wanted to celebrate Cyber Monday like we did yesterday. So we're going to, we held it off for today. Okay. So make sure you check it out. Okay, so this is a, a one of my favorite picks, and the, here's the reason I like stuff like this. You've got lots of components on here, including one of my favorites, which is pine cones. So you've got greenery with snow tips on it. You've got different sized berries, pomegranates, and pine cones, and you get all of that for like five bucks because I think these are on sale 50 off in the store. They might be different online. So we're going to start by just getting us a base going. I'm going to take these sprays, okay? And I'm going to lay these on the branches, okay? The number one problem that I see when I do people's trees and they're like, I did my tree, but 
you know, something's different or something's wrong, here's the deal. You, your tree is built like a realistic real tree, okay? So all the branches are pretty much hinged. So you want to put all of your materials on the branches just like they are. So you don't want to have any stems coming up like this because that's going to just shape your tree. So as you add your florals, which is a great filler, you want to lay them on the branches naturally so that it looks as realistic as possible and you still want to keep your shape. That's the biggest problem I see with trees, guys, is that they lose their shape because they don't put the, the picks on uh, the correct way that the branches lay, okay? So what's going on in the comments, Dina? Anybody said they watched Inches of Stars? Not yet. Got their tree up? The trees are up but not decorated. Furniture just got moved. Trees up before Thanksgiving. Look at you, girl. Y'all, isn't that the, um, the worst part, I think, about Christmas decorating is that you have to basically rearrange your whole house and then you have to figure out where you're going to put everything that you took down to put up the Christmas. And I'll just be honest with y'all because we're transparent like that. I put everything in the guest room and shut the door. Okay, so <laughs> hope nobody wants to spend the night. Oh, y'all, I don't know if I told you. I gotta tell you. Yeah, we hadn't been here in two weeks. Okay, y'all, I'll be in a therapy next week. So if I'm not here, uh, Morgan got a new job and she's moving to Frisco. So she's moving on Saturday. This Saturday. This happened two weeks ago, but I hadn't been here. But she got a new job at a med spa in Dallas. Huge pay raise, and you know this is something that she's worked for because she's spent all that money on that degree. It's time to use it. So. There's really no opportunity here to make the kind of money that she wanted to make with the degree that she, you know, went to school for, which is healthcare management and healthcare administration. So she's going to be running a med spa in Frisco and she gets to dress up every day. So, you know, I've already bought her some pumps and uh, I'm excited because daddy needs a discount. Okay. So she's moving on Saturday. She's going to live with my aunt until the middle of January because she lives in Dallas until her apartment's ready, which is on January 22nd. And then she'll move in her apartment. It's my birthday. You see there? It's a lucky day. Happy early birthday. So anyway, y'all stay prepared for Morgan as she begins her new career and new journey to Dallas. I think it'll be fun and I think it'd be great for her to get out and spread her wings and fly a little bit and meet new people and get me a discount and, uh, you know, just live her life. Yes, I'm happy for her. I'm sad because, you know, I'm not going to know what I can do. And she comes over every week for The Bachelor. She comes over every week for The Dance with the Stars. I'm going to have, I'm going to be in therapy. Okay, so, uh. But y'all say a prayer for her. I'm excited for her and I know she's going to do great. But I wanted to share that with y'all because we talk about her all the time. Okay, what were we doing? Oh, we're putting this tree together. Okay, y'all. So I put in a few of these sprays. I'm going to do a few more. And I'm using, I'm choosing to use these first because you've got all of the berries and the greenery that's mixed on here. So I like to kind of use these to fill in those holes and spaces that are on your tree and then build on from there. Okay. So we're going to put a few. And because we're incorporating the top guys into this tree design, you want to make sure that you add your stems in all the way to the top. Hi, Phyllis. How are you, gorgeous? And you said it was great having dinner with you and Morgan, Sonny, and Michelle. Andy, oh my God, it was so fun. Guys, Amy came down. We went to Popsitas with Sandy. It was so much fun. And Sonny, Michelle, yes, everybody. Okay, guys, we're going to put a few more. And now, you can put as little or as much filler as you want. I mean, I do several clients and every one of them is completely different. Some like very simple and that's good. And some people like really full. And so you can kind of get the best of both worlds by doing the techniques that I'm showing you guys. Okay. I'm going to make this pretty full because we're at Ellis Honey and we're going to do this for y'all. And I want to give you guys um, an example of how you can make some things more complex. Oh my gosh, look at that tag. That's got to go. Everybody have them their coffee this morning? Bloody Mary. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. And when you do this, you do it in quadrants of four? Um, with a tree, yes, but especially on the top. Like I showed you guys last week, you always want to split your tree in four sections. And you want to make sure you evenly distribute your product all the way around the tree. This is for demo, so and I don't want to keep you guys here for four hours. So that's why I'm choosing just to do the front. But yes, that's what you would do. Okay, next step. I love berries. So this is a pomegranate stem, which resembles berries. And so we're going to use this on here too. Okay. So these pomegranate stems, along with so much more guys can be found on the website, ellishomegarden.com. Don't forget everything is 20% off this week. We're celebrating Cyber Monday on a Tuesday and use the coupon code online 20, all caps. Okay. But you don't 
you have any Thanksgiving drama? Oh, I'm glad you asked. No, here's the deal though. Um, my whole family came to Thanksgiving this year. We haven't had it to, in, we didn't have it last year because um, people had COVID and we can't be doing all that. So everybody was well, but like two days before Thanksgiving, um, my mom came down with what we thought was COVID. I mean, she had no taste or smell. She sounded horrible. Thank God it was just bronchitis. So she, uh, I was like, I don't care what you got to do, but get over here to Thanksgiving, get a breathing treatment. Okay, you'll be fine. But she went to the ER and she stayed there all day and got a bunch of uh, steroids. So she felt much better the next day, but it was great, guys. I made, dre Josh made dressing. I just cooked it. Um, dressing, sweet, no, dressing, mashed potatoes, green beans, and a pumpkin pie. That's what I made. And then everybody else made something. And my God, we have enough food to feed the family. But my favorite part about the Thanksgiving is just, I like to cook. I, mean, I like, like, we don't need to eat all that. We cook way too much food. But I just like cooking and having people come over. That's my favorite part. So y'all leave a comment and let us know what your favorite part of your Thanksgiving was for 2021. Okay. So did your mom end up cooking some? Mm -hmm. And you just ate when? Or you didn't have to work all that night, so. Well, we, I, um. We, we did it Wednesday since I was off all day Wednesday. Okay. What'd you make? I watched her because I slept. Oh, yeah, yeah. My pumpkin pie, though, y'all, was so good. It was Paula Dean recipe, and it had cream cheese in it. And I've never really had a pumpkin pie with cream cheese, but it just made it super, I don't know what the word is, but it was really good. Okay, y'all. Was there anything good on Netflix? Me? Kelly's asking. Kelly, yes, I have been watching up a storm, guys. We're going to go over, uh, by the way, I'm taking these other berries and I'm putting them in place of the uh, holes. So you put the first layer in and you're basically just going to layer around your tree until you get it to the fullest capacity that you want. So it's really a preference thing. So don't take what I'm showing you here as something that has to be done because, you know, tree decorating is supposed to be fun and you want to do what makes you happy and what looks good in your house. So just keep that in mind. Okay, guys. Let's talk about shows because it's been two weeks and I know a lot of you guys are home for the holidays. You have some time off maybe or you have family coming in and they're on your last nerve. So you need to go in there and, you know, watch something. So if you want a good family Christmas movie, there's one on Netflix called The Boy Called Christmas. It's got Maggie Smith in it from Harry Potter and she's been in everything, Downton Abbey. It's so good and it's a family movie. So the, A Boy Called Christmas on Netflix. Second show I highly recommend if you have Apple TV is called Ted Lasso. It's about this football coach that comes from the United States. He goes to England or London or somewhere, and he becomes a football coach over there. But football over there is soccer, basically. So it's about his journey, and it's hysterical. And it's got some great casting. Jason Sudeikis is the main character. So if you've seen that, leave a comment. But that's really all we watch besides Yellowstone. Are you guys watching Yellowstone? I can't wait for 18, what is it, 33 or something? The prequel that's coming out with Faith and Tim. Okay. 1893. Yeah, see that? Took it back three, 30 more years. But yeah, that's what we've been watching. But y'all, I'm finishing up insoles this week. Um, it's been such a blessing and such a great year, but girl, I am ready to get back to normal. So I've got three days left. Today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And then Friday, we're leaving. We're going to the Gaylord. I'm going to take a nap. And uh, Saturday, we, move, we uh, move Morgan. So Really, the jumping out of installs right back into everything, but starting next Monday, things will be back to normal. I can start to enjoy my Christmas and take a nap again. I just want to sleep past 7 o'clock in the morning, and that will be wonderful. All right, so we're taking our berries. I'm just kind of looking here. I'm going to have to get in front of y'all for just a sec to put these in. Sasha says The Castle for Christmas on Netflix. Oh, I saw the previews for that, but I haven't watched it yet. All right, guys, so I got my berries in there. They're looking real pretty. Okay, I've got a couple more of these. I'm going to go ahead and add these, y'all. We're going to put one up here at the top. Morgan's moving to Frisco, Texas, which is, what, two and a half hours, three mm -hmm. hours? About two and a half, yeah. So I'll be up there every day. And so if y'all see me coming live one day, for our Ellis video in her apartment. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, I was going to, the cost of living up there is so much higher. And I was going to, I was like, get a second bedroom and I'll pay the difference. I was thinking like $200. Girl, it was like $700 difference for a two bedroom apartment. I was like, you better get me a sleeper sofa. Okay, with a comfortable mattress. That is insane. Okay, y'all. I got the berries mixed through there. I'm loving how they look so far. Next thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go with my next floral stem, which are my, one of my favorites, which is these curly sprays. These are super fun, y'all. Look at these. Aren't these pretty? I'm putting them back. Okay. So, these are fun. This is rustic. It's got the buffalo plaid, which matches our ribbon that we're going to use. But this also kind of gives you a whimsical element because I think whimsical resembles like these squirrels. So you could do that. Okay. So now we're going to take these and again, layer on another area of your floral stems. By the way, guys, leave a comment if you are local or if you're not and you drove in and you've been to Christmas in the Gardens, which is the lights that they have out here on the property at Ellis in Longview. Um, they have done an amazing job. Have you seen it or not, Dina? Not yet. Um, I such a great sleep before I go to work. <laughs> such a great job. And you can bring your family out, guys, and I think they have hot chocolate. If they don't, they're going to now, because I've said that. And um, just come have fun and you know, make memories and take pictures. And I don't know yet, They haven't. I haven't asked, but I'm sure eventually they might have Santa out there, but I think that'd be fun. But we're going to the Gaylord for the first time. Josh won a Mary Kay something, <clears throat> and so it's at the Gaylord. I'm a little bummed because the one time I get to go, I've never been before, they don't have the ice sculpture thing because the people are international and they can't travel because of COVID. It's the second year, but I'm sure it's still going to be decked out and fun. If they have a bar, <laughs> let's just be honest, it'll be fun. Okay, y'all, I'm adding in the swirl picks. Someone just mentioned something about that, but they want to be on one of the menus due to the ice event. Oh, y'all, don't make it any worse. <laughs> hopefully, it's not, um, hopefully, it's all fine. I know there's going to be a lot of children, so I've got to be close to the bar. I'm adding in those swirl picks. <clears throat> Okay, so I just kind of put those throughout the tree, guys. I'm going to zoom in for a second so y'all can see better kind of what's going on. So I have all of the, the berries and all that stuff in there, the squirrel picks. You can see how everything is starting to, um, you know, blend together from top to bottom. Okay. Kathy said she saw the lights when they were waiting for Black Friday. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, y'all. Let's talk about ribbon, okay? Ribbon is, I always say, I'm going to get a t-shirt that says this next year and sell some merch. Ribbon is the most inexpensive filler. It's great discounts on this all the time, in-store, online, especially today with the 20% off everything. So you always want to make sure you use, use wire ribbon. I have gotten to situations where I've been in a bind and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and use some unwired ribbon because that's all I could find and it's in the perfect color. Girl, she flopped faster than a cake in the oven that I cooked. Okay, so use wired ribbon. We're going to make sure we go with our theme and this is a buffalo plaid. I usually cut my ribbon to incorporate into my trees in strips that are 36 to 48 inches. Okay. Um, and these are a variety of sizes. If they're 48, you have room for longer tails. If they're 36, you have room for a couple loops and shorter tails. So keep that in mind. And I don't use a yardstick. I just kind of eyeball it. Okay. So now I'm going to take some of my ribbon. And I'm going to show you up close how we're going to start adding this. Okay. So I'm going to make maybe like a loop or so. And I'm going to use my Christmas tree branches. And attach this in the tree okay and you want to alternate your positions okay so if you put one right there when you come to the other side you want to add a little bit more but over here maybe I'm gonna have to walk in front of y'all because this is bad okay so we'll put one right there and so we're just gonna alternate like that 
and we're going to move up here to the top and do some up there too. Okay, and this is how you start to incorporate your copper into your tree. If you want a more simplistic version, if you don't want to do like a big massive topper, then this will work for you. Okay. But I love how this turns out. And you, you guys can do this technique on any size tree. So if you have a little tabletop tree that you want to work with, girl, you can do it on that too. Um, I'm just kind of going back and forth. I'm going to cut some more ribbon. Do you guys have any holiday plans or vacations that you're getting ready to go on? Leave, it, leave us a comment. What's your schedule like for Christmas? Do you know yet? Hmm. I'll have to look Christmas month. Mm -hmm. I oh do my. love Christmas Eve, but what Christmas month? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Y'all, did I tell you I almost got arrested? Just kidding, but maybe. So, um, Dina used to be a police officer, so she's probably going to be like, doing you're an idiot. I, um... I do a bunch. I do a bunch of banks, okay. And so, I was at a bank decorating, and I thought I'd become friends with a police officer. And she was so sweet. I mean, we had, but we laughed and talked, and we talked about everything, you know, patrol, security, everything. Well, I thought we were friends. And so, anyway, when I got ready to go, I was like, uh, it was so nice to meet you. And she's like, oh my god, it was so nice to meet you too. And and I said, um, now, girl, don't forget now, if you pull me over. I'll give you a treat. Don't give me a ticket. Girl, her whole demeanor changed. And she was like, that is a bribe and I cannot accept. And I was thinking, this is it. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Right up in here trying to decorate this tree. <laughs> I do that every time I get pulled over. You know, I'm always like, you need your tree done? <laughs> so um, I got pulled over the other day, y'all. And my, my registration had been out for two months. And I had no idea because I don't even know what day it is, you know. So I got it online, thank God. But um, it's always something. Ever since I got a red car, I get pulled over. All the time. I got pulled over one time because I had boxes in my car, and apparently that's illegal. One time I got pulled over, and every time they come up, just ask me what kind of car I drive. And I'm thinking, dude, are you going to give me a ticket or not? Okay, y'all, let's keep adding our ribbon. Because that police officer might be watching. I don't know why coming after me now. I've got too many trees to do. So again, I'm going to alternate my uh, ribbon. What did someone say? They just said they're going to go see their daughter in Florida. I'm finally going to get to see my daughter in Florida. We live in Virginia. I haven't spent Christmas with her in a few years. I'm so excited. Who said that? Keith Joyce Amos. Keith, I'm so excited for you. Joyce, I'm so excited for you. It's such a blessing. And, you know, everybody's so fortunate, I think, to have a uh, family that they can go see and stay with. And that's the best part about the holidays to me. Kelly has a grandbaby being on the 24th. Oh, my gosh, Kelly, congrats. That's so exciting. I know you're going to... Go crazy and spoil him or her. Okay, we're going to keep adding our ribbon, guys. Look how cute this is. Everything is going together. The ribbon technique is working. Please, please, please do not take your ribbon and wrap it around like a toilet paper. You know, mm, ugh, that drives me nuts. So cut it in strips, and that's how you can incorporate and weave it throughout your entire tree. Did your mom put up a tree? She's got a little one. Yeah. Does she usually do a real tree? Oh, you can't. You're allergic. Does she usually do a big tree? We used to. Yeah. Not anymore. Okay, y'all. Let me take a look over here. See, I think we're going to put a little more room right here. Isn't this pretty, y'all, with that rustic theme? Okay. Let me give you a up-close look since we've added in our ribbon. So we're going to start at the top, of course. Slowly make our way down. or something. <laughs> so Lisa, the lengths of the ribbon strips again are um, 36 to 48 inches. And it's just a preference thing. If they're 48, that gives you a little bit of room for longer tails. Okay. Okay, y'all. Next thing we're going to add is going to be a few more of the swirl picks, but we're going to use a different size, okay? 
We're going to use these this time. They're much smaller. And again, guys, the entire site is 20% off at ellishomeandgarden.com. You must use the coupon code ONLINE20 to receive your 20% off. And we're doing that because yesterday was Cyber Monday. Our videos are on Tuesday, so we're doing that to uh, extend that for y'all. If you do your ribbon that way, you don't dovetail it? I'm not a dovetail. I mean, I like dovetail ribbon, but it's not a preference to me. Like, um, you know, I don't mind it when it's either slanted or straight, but you can also curl the ends of your ribbon. So the way you cut the ends of your ribbon and the tails, that's totally a preference thing. Uh, but it doesn't bother me if it is or isn't really. Okay, we're going to take these curly sprays, mix a few more in. I love the darkness of this, the dark reds and everything. I like the mixtures of sizes, of materials and products. And guys, Ellison has a lot of products still in stock in the store. So if you're at last minute and you're trying to get your tree done, but you need a few items, if you don't want to order it online, make sure you go visit one of their locations because they all have some great stuff. Ribbon length is 36 to 48, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, the last thing that I add when doing a tree is always the ornaments because, you know, 90% of the time you're going to have breakable glass ornaments. And if you put those on first and then try and shove all your stuff in there, it's going to fall off and get broken. So put your ornaments on last. Again, this is for demo, so ignore the tag, okay? Here's a little trick, girl, please. You must use this, okay? Because when I see this on trees, I'm like, ah! This is meant to hang the ornament. It's not meant to be shown, okay? So when you add an ornament to your tree, let's zoom in close, and you put this on, okay? You're going to put the ornament on, and instead of leaving it like that, take it and wrap that around your tree branch. It makes such a huge difference, and that way, when you step back and look at your tree, guys, you don't have all these strings hanging down. Ooh, that drives me nuts. So uh, wrap it around there, okay? Look how fun these are, these forms. These are lightweight, so you could either you could stick a pick in here if you want to put it in an arrangement. But I love these for the tree, too, and our theme right here. It's going to lighten everything up a bit. So we're going to put a few of those on there. I think spells fun. And you just find ornaments that you like, guys. And if you do have large, oversized, shatterproof balls, you can put those in the beginning because those are really meant for depth. And so you want to stick those way up into the tree. Okay. Guys, right now also I'm running a special on Dylan's Divas Monthly Design Group, which is my paid monthly design group. It's usually 20 bucks a month, but right now you can sign up and get your first month for $14.99. And you go to DylanPalmerDesigns.com. Dylan, spelled D-Y-L-E-N, ain't that convenient? And uh, D-Y-L-E-N, DylanPalmerDesigns.com. You can sign up, guys, to join Dylan's Divas. We go live four times a week, and we go we do really complex and instructional videos. But I think you'll love it, guys, if you're really wanting to do some more design. Okay. Adding in a few more uh, ornaments. Y'all want to know something crazy? Ornaments is probably the least amount that I add. I mean, does that, that doesn't make sense. Of all the things that I use, I use the least amount of ornaments. I use more florals. I use lots of ribbons. I use lots of shatterproof balls. Um, and, and, and ornaments are really the last thing. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to zoom in again and let you see up close. If y'all have any questions, y'all leave those down below. We'll answer those. Um, so, guys, we started with a seven-foot Fraser fir tree. We did a buffalo plaid rustic theme, and we kept it really natural. We added all those berries in to begin with, then we added in some other things, but I just love this. We added in our ornament, okay? And I could fill it up with ornaments, y'all, but I'm just doing this to show you and give you an example of what you can do. Hi, Debbie Lynch. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tree demo. Don't forget, ellishomeandgarden.com, just for you guys. We made it happen another day. 20% off the entire website. Use the coupon code ONLINE20. Girl, don't be calling us saying, I, I don't know why I got my discount because you didn't use a code. So it's ONLINE20, okay, all caps. But there's some great stuff on there. There's tons of stuff and all different um, materials and all kinds of stuff. 
So y'all check that out. And don't forget, guys, I'm running a special in my group, DylanPalmerDesigns.com. You can check it out, Dylan's Divas. If you have any questions, send me an email. Um, and guys, I hope you have a fantastic week. I have three more days at installs. And honey, I am not, I am counting down so I can sleep until nine, you know, instead of seven. So I'm so excited for that. But I uh, hope y'all had a blessed Thanksgiving. Make sure you watch those shows I told you about. Okay, Ted Lasso on HBO Max, A Boy Called Christmas on Netflix, Yellowstone on Paramount+. Plus. We could go on because, you know, me and Dina love our shows. But um, you'll watch those and report back. But things are calming down. I'll be here next week on Tuesday at 9. Dina will too. Um, so y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next week here at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all. Love the you for code watching. Is all, all day? Uh, yes, the code's all day, guys. Online 20. All right. Bye, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thanks, Karen. <laughs>